book review, which we're starting a new thing, which is going to be every, every Monday. Monday. Book reviews. Okay, so, so it's really exciting. We're going to have so much fun. And, and we're really excited to do this. Each week, we're going to have three books. So let's get started. Okay, so you go first. Okay, so I'm going to start off in the same series. So the first book is called Time Will to Live With My Sisters. And it's by Ann M. Martin. And the second book is by Ann M. Martin, and it's called Time Good and Bad Things About My Life. Um, these both books are amazing. They just, I would read them over and over again. Um, the Time Good and Bad Things About My Life, um, it has a little bit of a heartfelt read. Um, I got tearful and I cried. So for some people, it could make you sad. Some people, maybe not. Um, for the ages and grades, I'd say for this one, probably second grade to fifth grade. So you should... I did read that one in fifth grade. It was a little bit like, young, but you know, I, I'd still say still works. Um, second grade to fifth yeah, grade. That's and I'd say eight to 11. And for this book, I'd say for uh, second grade to sixth grade. So I'd probably say um, my sixth grade. Because eight to probably um, probably twelve, and so there is like kissing stuff, but it's not that big of a deal. Um, so I really love these, and they definitely made me laugh a lot and have a lot of fun. So I definitely recommend getting these books. They're just amazing, and these are girly girl books. So yeah, it's my first book. Okay, so my first book is this book. It's called Out of My Mind by Sharon M. Draper, and it's a really great book, and I would say the ages are, you know, about maybe 10 or 11 to um, adults because I actually got my mom to read this and she loved it so much, so it's definitely, even it says on the back, that if there's only one book teens and parents and everyone else can read this year, Out of My Mind should be it. So anyone can read this. It's about an 11 year old named Melody and she has cerebral palsy. So if you don't know what that is, it's like, it's special needs. So you can't, you are like in a wheelchair and you can't usually move. Your whole body is paralyzed and you can't talk. Um, and so she got really annoyed because every year at school they would teach her the alphabet over and over again. And she's actually one of the smartest kids. So if you've had experiences at school and someone has special needs. Yeah, you know, I know someone with that same thing. Yeah, and so it's really tough. You might see them think, oh, they don't know anything. They're dumb. But that's not true. They're really smart and they can, you know, they're, they like teach, it says that they teach her preschool, preschool level alphabet, but she's like the smartest kid. And they're, it's a really great story. Sad, but, you know, really touching. And she um, goes to this like competition thing and she's just like one of the smartest kids. And there is like a tragic with the younger sister and she tries to, you know, help, but no one listens to her because she can't talk. So it's a really sad, but beautiful story. So I would recommend this book a lot. And yeah, okay. So for my, my first. second book is also two books, but it's the same series. So The Magic Bone um, by Nancy Kerlick. I think that's how you say it. Um, and this is the first one. It's called Be Careful What You Sniff For. And this one is called Catch That Dog Wave. They're both amazing books um, for boys and girls. The dog's name is Sparky, and it's basically he goes on an adventure and he has a magic bone. Um, not gonna give anything away, but he something happens with the magic bone. Um, but he ends up being safe and sound at home, and it's really good. I recommend probably you could read this in um, first grade up to third grade, but I. Personally, I think it's a little bit babyish for third grade, but you can still read it at third grade. Um, and I'd say like seven to eight or nine, so something like that. So these are really good and they're really funny. Um, and it's pretty much an adventure book um, and it's really good. Okay, sorry, my nose is just like so allergenic. Okay, so my next book, my second book is Dini by Judy Bloom and I love this book. Um, I actually got it when I was going to Tahoe and I got some of her other books and 
this is nothing related to this book. This is like my favorite book. I was like, oh shoot, none of them are like this. Anyway, so um, it's I think she's 14. I think she's like in eighth grade, maybe 13. And she's like being a, wants to be a model. She's like the most beautiful girl ever. Everyone like thinks she's so beautiful. And she thinks she's so ugly and angry because she got scoliosis because that's when you like punch your back over and your spine gets kind of like messed up so she had to get a brace and she thinks it's just horrible she's like you know four or five um and i love this book so much and it says the ages are 10 to 14. i would say maybe 11 to 14. um <coughs> let's go um and i would do like fifth grade and up to eighth grade maybe um not too young there is you know, Judy Bloom, bless you, does, <coughs> have, have, some allergies. <laughs> does have, Judy Bloom has some books that can be a little bit, you know, older kids, older girl books. So this is definitely a girly book, but you know, I think it's a really good book. It's like one of my favorites. So yeah. So my last book, I'm actually in the middle of this book, but I can tell you about it so far. Um, this is called Being New Girl, and it's Allie Finkel's Rose for Girls. It's definitely girly girl, so I'm not recommending this to me as a boy. Um, it's called The New Girl by Meg Cabot, and if you guys know The Princess Stars, Meg Cabot wrote that. She writes a lot of other books. Um, it's really good. Um, I'm starting with the second book, but it goes higher and higher, and she gets older. Right now, she's in fourth grade. Um, there's a lot going on. She just moved, um, and she came kind of in the middle of the school year for her first day, and she has two younger brothers. And she just is this girl, Rosemary. She's just like a huge bully to her, and she doesn't like that. Um, and so there's a lot going on, but she has her best friend in the book to help her with everything and go on in her school. So I love it. Um, it's funny, really girly girl. I'd say probably for, especially with the reading level two, probably nine to 11 and probably grades like third grade to fifth grade. So it's definitely a really good book. Um, if it goes higher in the series, you could probably even be like, an eighth grader or something, but not with this book. Um, it's, this book's for a little bit younger. But yeah, it's a sweet book and girly and funny. Yeah, really I did read a book higher in that grade and uh, higher in the series. And it, it just gets more inappropriate. Kind of inappropriate. I wouldn't say eighth grade, but like seven, six. Yeah, it just gets a little more um, higher advanced and stuff like that. Yeah. So my last book, that was her last book, by the way. So yes. my last book um, is The Hungry Games, the most Everyone knows this book. It's by Suzanne Collins, and I just love it so much. I'm actually in the middle of reading Catching Fire, and there's three books in the series, and the last one is Mocking Jay. I haven't read that one yet, but I love Catching Fire so far, and The Hunger Games is just so amazing. I would recommend sixth grade and up because there is a lot of violence, a lot of violence, definitely bloody, gory, killing, you know, that kind of stuff. The, definitely the concept of it. Um, and you know there is some like kissing, a lot of kissing. There is some, you know, kind of older stuff, and definitely in the second book, and a lot in this book too. Um, but it's you know if you're gonna let your kid read this younger than like 12 and up or something, I would say don't read it before bed because it could be kind of gross. But um, I love it so much, and it's basically about this girl named Katniss, and you know and PETA and it's there's 12 districts and a capital the capital and the capital is like you know really rich and everyone else is kind of poor and there's um, the Hunger Games and there's the reaping and and some of the other main characters are like Hamish and Gail and PETA and Effie and there's a lot of characters in this book and I just love it so much so very suspense and adventure so yeah and that's it for our book reviews yay stay, so stay tuned for, for our next, next week. book review yes yeah. um, always three books and we do books for all ages and um, yeah. yeah and this is great for kids and teens to look at but also parents if you want advice for your kids yeah. please subscribe please subscribe and like comment, comment and like if you stay tuned for more videos um we're gonna have them weekly by the way, we did get this idea from Brooklyn and Bailey, so thank you so much. So thank you so much for watching and stay tuned next week.